So apparently they did not have better things to do tonight. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Emgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series 86 Childhood Trauma version of Brawn and Ratchet. So here we are, and there they are, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Right up front, we got Brawn, we have Ratchet just having a totally totally bad day on this side we have Braun and Ratchet just get a closer look at their screaming painful faces on this side same thing on the top the Transformers the movie on the bottom where it's things barcodes on the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots and you have your little one sentence read up if you want to read it in multiple languages hooray for languages how morbid and that's basically it for the packaging then, moving right along, here we have the Studio Series 2-pack of Brawn and Ratchet, another 2-pack that has been released to help us relive our childhood trauma. Thank you so much, Hasbro! But yes, here we have Brawn and Ratchet. We're going to take a look at these two individually, so let's get down to it. And first, we'll start off with Brawny here, the quicker Decepticon beater upper, and... This is meant to replicate how he appeared in the 1986 The Transformers The Movie. Mm -hmm. And here he is in his robot mode. He is packed in robot mode. But let's get in close here so we can take a look not at the, not at the trauma, at the noggin. There's the noggin. Uh, you can see it's a very... It's a very expressive face sculpt there. That's a whole mood right there. That's a whole mood going on right there. That's that's the face you make when you step on a Lego barefoot. Just that's it. That's that's the one. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see you got the gaping wound there in his chest with some nice paint work around it. What about symbol front and center? And everything else is exactly as it is on the original figure. Just coloration is a bit different. You got grays instead of silvers. Lighter shade of green here just to make it a bit more uh, a bit more tuned colored. You got some little toesies. The brown booty. Backpack. And that sure is a, a dying brawn. Now articulation wise, what have we got? I'm going to tell you. So that can only rotate. Can do a full 360. Um, the arms are on a ball joint. Can do a full 360. Can move in and out. You have bicep rotation. You have nice deep elbow bend there. Nothing at the wrist. You do have inward movements. If you need that, you do have waist rotation. Legs can move forward that far. Back only about that far before the backpack gets in the way. Outward, he can do the full splits and then some. Got that rotation. About 9 degrees of bend at the knee as far as the feet. Uh, the toes can slightly move up, can move down, as can the heel. And you have lots of ankle tiltage. And accessory-wise, he has this little blaster here. Just painted all nice and silver-like. You can store it on his back if you want to. The spare tire here is also a separate piece. It's packed separately in the box. Just pegs right in. But you can have that stored on his back, or of course you can have it in his hand, so he can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang, and all of that good stuff right there. So there you have that, and now for comparison. Here he is with the original Studio Series 86 Braun. You can see how that works out. Um, the only difference is head sculpt. Chest piece is remolded, obviously, to give him the wound. And the color palette, you can see, is a slightly uh, lighter shade of green, lighter shade of yellow. Um, I believe on this version, this is actually yellow paint, and on this one, it is yellow plastic. And I, yes, that is the case. So you can see the color differential there. You also have the more gray as opposed to the silver. We'll give it a turnaround there. So you can see who's who, what's what, where's when and why's how. As you can see, it's, it's brawn. Having a good day brawn and having not such a good day brawn. Yeah. And now we'll take a look at Ratchet here. And this is meant to replicate how he appeared in the 1986 The Transformers, the movie. 
yeah. And, yeah, again, he's packed in robot mode, and let's get in close here so we can take a look, not at the gaping wound, at the noggin, there's a noggin. And we see his nice, uh, painful face. Arrgh! You can see all the damage there in the chest, the windshield cracked, and all about symbol front and center, with little the red cross, you know, the medical Autobot symbols on his shoulders. Any typical red and white color scheme that is ratchets, dozies, backsies, you got the light bars here, the booties, the backpack, and that is <gasps> ratchet. And articulation wise, what have we got? I'm gonna tell you. Uh, the head is on a ball joint, you get a little bit of wiggly waggly, you can look up a good bit, can do a little bit of squirrel, can look down and go, What is up with my chest? Uh, he can. Rotate his head a full 360, arms can do a full 360, can move in and out. You got your bicep rotation, you have 9 degrees of bend at the elbow, you have wrist rotation, you have waist rotation, you can move the cross plate up, so the legs can move forward, about that far, back, about that far, outward. Full splits, you got thigh rotation, 9 degrees of bend there at the knee, the feet, uh, they cannot move up, but they can move down, and you have your ankle tiltage. And accessory wise, you get the double blasters here. Are cast in black and then painted over in a nice silver. If you want, you can store them on his back. There it just tap slot connections right back here. You can totally drop it. That's 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 an option. That's a thing you can do if you want to do it as well. <laughs> but you can just plug those on to his back for storage. Hooray for storage. The instructions want you to have them barrels up, but I think it's a little bit more elegant having them barrels down. But as always, it's your toy. Display it however you wish. And of course, you can plug them into his fisty holes. So here you can, pew, pew, bang, bang, pew, pew, bang, bang, and all of that good stuff. So there you have that. And now for Comparison again. Here he is with the original Studio Series Ratchet. So you can see how that works out and pretty much everything is the same obviously we have a new chest piece uh we do lose a lot of the transparent plastic the transparent bits on this figure are now non clearing bits the chest piece uh the side panels are no longer trans clear and plastic which i'm sure will make a lot of people happy um but yeah obviously you got the battle damage different head sculpt there of course the color scheme is pretty much the same, again, with the uh, painted blue windows being a difference there, but it's Ratchet. We know what Ratchet looks like. Again, we'll give it a turn around here so you can see what's going on. Again, we got Good Day Ratchet, not so Good Day Ratchet. Yeah. And one more crucial accessory this two-pack comes with is more blushes. That's right. Get some nice purple blushes here and of course their weapons are bluish compatible so you can plug these in plug one in here plug one right in there and we can do hey we can do a big old double bloosh. that's how the bluish works this time around that's that's oh that's exactly how it works exactly how that works and one more lovely group photo here of all of our dying Autobots. This is lovely. Just lovely. Um, and as you can see, the chest pieces for Ratchet and Ironhide are exactly the same. They just reused it. But yeah, this is, uh, this is something. This is something, all right. <laughs> so there you go. All right, so that is basically it for the robot modes. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's... So we'll start off with brawn here. First thing you want to do is come back here to the backpack. Just kind of extend that out on that double hinge. You want to then bring the chest and head piece forward. Rotate his head 180. Uh, you want to take his arms or an armature, the arm armature right here. Just take that and just rotate that down. Same thing here. Rotate that down. You have to kind of unthoop it from this little nub there. You want to rotate the forearms in at the bicep here. Once you've done that, you just want to take this whole assembly and just rotate it in. Rotate that in. And the arms will connect the two points. They connect the shoulders and connect at the forearms. Just line everything up and 
get it all nice and squozen. You then want to take the waist, rotate it 180. I should have done that before I put the arms in place, but it's okay. It's all right. You can still do it. There we go. Once you've done that, take the arms. I mean, take the hands, rather, and just fold them down, like so. You then want to take this section here, rotate it around, so you get that front grill, and then you can close that up. Now, for the legular region, you just want to split the leg open, close the toe, close the heel. Second verse, just like the first, just open that up, close the toe, close the heel, if it hasn't done it for you already. Then you just want to bring the legs in, and there are little tabs that go into slots in his fists right here. This is not crucial to the transformation, so if you don't have these in place, it's not the end of the world. You can still get everything lined up, but if you want to be particular about it, you know, just make sure they're in place. And then you just take this whole assembly and swing it in, make sure that the toes and heel are straight so they can fit in that opening right in there. Just line it up and drop it in, get that in place, line it up, and drop that in, like so. They just want to bring this whole roof section down, tab slot connection right here on either side, drop that down, get down nice and firm like, bring this back panel down, and there are tab slot connections right there, line that up, drop it in, Get everything all nice and squozen, and there you go. There you have Ron in his alt mode. You had a good spin out of him, too. But there is Braun in alt mode, and it's a very brawny alt mode. And he looks very much alive here. Very much alive. You can't see any any trauma of any kind in this mode. So, hey, that's a plus. But let's get it close here so we can take a look. Got the details, you got that front grill painted in silver, it looks very nice. That little bit of yellow, little bits of gray, Autobot symbol, front and center on the hood, and that nice blue there for the windshield and windows. Rims are painted silver, and if you don't like those clips, just paint those silver and they'll blend right in. That's what I plan on doing. And you have the back windshield. Painted in as well. You got the spare tire up top. There's the top. There's the bottom. Technically invisible head syndrome. I mean, that's his head there. I mean, you can't see his face, but it's his head. He does roll as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. And for comparison, here he is with the original Studio Series Braun. And not much different here in alt mode. Just a slight difference in the coloration. Again, just a lighter shade of green going on there. But, yeah, we'll give you the turnaround. The back windshield is painted on the uh, the dead version of Braun, which is nice. And there you go. You can see how that works out right there. And as far as his weapon goes, it's a simple case of just taking it and plugging it onto the spare tire, and there you have your storage array for storage. Woo! And now moving on to Ratchet, we're going to open up the chest, flip this section out, you have these little bits in here, you're going to rotate out, you're going to take his head and tuck it in, take this bumper section and bring that back, you're then going to rotate the arms forward at pretty much like a 45 degree angle, you just kind of want to lined up with this little bit here, and then you just bring the arms back. Bring the arms all the way back, and then they will connect uh, to the forearm, like so. You can take the hands and flip them down. Once that is done, you want to take his upper body here and just unclip it, rock it back, and then rotate this 180, and then just bring all that back down. You can bring this up. It'll come undone later, so just leave it there. For now, don't situate it just yet. I just want to take his forearms here and just angle them down like so. And now for the legular region, this is my favorite part of his transformation. I think the engineering here is quite clever. Uh, lift this panel up, open this panel, open this panel, and then take the foot and just shift it up and over to form that roof section. I love that. I think that's so clever. Um, second verse is like the first. Bring that up, open, open, and just shift all of that up. And then tab the legs together, clip everything together here. Put that together and then you can close that up, 
close that up, make sure all that snapped together, like so. Once you have done that, you're going to kind of bend the hips up and everything so that these two has up here can connect. You may have to readjust this angle, but just make sure it is connected. Then you're going to take this panel, bring it up, swing it around, and oops. There we go. You can see here, if things are not lined up, just in case of just readjusting your angle, just give it a little push, like so. Bring that up. Bring that forward. Again, that's not lined up, so let's just readjust. There we go. We are properly adjusted now. That will tap together. It doesn't hold together super well, but that's okay, because we're going to get all this situated. And this is the part that people always have seem to have trouble with, is connecting these two halves. Um... Again, make sure that everything is sitting as flush as possible here. Just readjust things as needed. So all you're doing here is just, you're basically kind of taking this section and kind of pulling up on it as you're pushing this down. So just kind of pull up, push down, and it'll pop itself right in. And when you're going back into robot mode, you just kind of hold it like this and just kind of crack it like an egg, and it'll undo itself. So it just pops itself right in, and then take that bumper, I... So, put that up, get everything all nice and squozen, and there you go. There you have Ratchet in his alt mode. And there is our lovely Autobot Ambulance. And uh, again, having a bad day. Got a busted up windshield. <laughs> Getting close here so we can see this detail. Lovely silver right up front here for that front grill. Getting that busted up windshield. Got the red stripe, little medical Autobot symbol, windshields, what's left, what there is of the windshield and the windows, painted in that nice blue, got the light bar up top, done in red, that rear windshield painted as well, that rear bumper painted in silver, rims done in silver, and there is the top, there is the bottom, he does roll as rolling things should, hooray, hooray for that rolling, and here he is with the original Studio Series Ratchet, as you can see, how oh, that works out again. Good day, Ratchet. Not so good day, Ratchet, but you can see. You get the red stripe with the little medical logo on the sides. Obviously, you have the transparent windshields and windows as opposed to the painted windshields and windows. Let me give you the turn around here so you can see what is going on. The back windshield is painted. On the Studio Series version, as well as the uh, rear bumper is also painted on the uh, on the dead version, so that's a nice touch. But there you have that. As far as the weapons, yes, you can store them. You just come under here, and they just tab in to the underside. Serve some exhaust pipes, and there is your storage. Hooray for storage! And another lovely group shot here of all of our dead Autobots in their alt mode. Well, Bronze the only one that looks like he's still having a good day, but there you see all of them together, so there you go. And of course, last but not least, we have the base of displayage that resides within the box. Pull out displayage, chuck box. And there we have the Autobot shuttle. And we can again relive our childhood trauma. Wonderful. Wonderful. So there you have Ratchet and Brawn. And um, yeah, again, it's another uh, morbid, kind of morbid two-pack here. But, you know, two solid figures in my opinion. Nothing against the figures themselves. They look really good. Solid transformations look good in both modes. You know, just made to, uh, to relive their final moments. Yeah. And honestly, they can keep it going. I mean, you know, there are other characters that died in the 86 movie, you know, so they can they can make a couple more two-packs. I don't know. But... Oh, hooray for childhood trauma. But anyway, there you go. Now, this set is a Target exclusive, so check your targets. Check Target.com. I'll put a link to it in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Studio Series of Playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. 
And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Studio Series 86 Childhood Trauma version of Brawn and Ratchet, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Palm in your face. Megatron, Decepticons, die, Autobots! Ah! No! You die too! No! Ah! <laughs> that was almost too easy, Starscream! Well, yes, considering I was doing all the work. What? I mean, come on! I was doing all the shooting. He does make a valid point. Really? Whose side are you on? Shut up!